So one of the reasons that we hold the birds under the top of the pen is because we have to um, put all their official bands and transmitters on them before they're released. So we use the opportunity while they're contained under a net to, to be able to catch them again and handle them to do that beginning process. Yesterday and today um, we went through that process where each bird is caught brought to an area where the rest of the birds can't see what's going on and then we put the bands and transmitters on. Um, what we also did this year is we took a weight of the birds so we've got a more current weight. Um, they were weighed at a health check in Maryland but that's been about a month so we took a weight to get a more current weight and then we also took a standard leg measurement just to have that set of data for our birds. It's a legal requirement that our birds can be identified by color bands and then also for purposes of our study we want to be able to track the birds so they all get a transmitter. Um, last year's group all had a GPS transmitter, this year everybody's getting a GPS transmitter but we're also putting out some VHF transmitters. So some birds have, have two kinds of transmitters and that just takes um, some time to get those bands and transmitters applied but it gives us a long, a long term ability to track the birds and monitor them. Um, and even the public, if they see the birds, when the birds spread out in the future, can, can report sightings of the birds because if, if they see the colors, we'll be able to know which bird is which based on the unique color combinations. We did half the birds yesterday and did the other half today and got that done and it all went very well. And the birds aren't super thrilled with all the new stuff on their legs, but they adjust to that pretty quickly, but it went, it went very smoothly. So.